Uh, in the 17 years since your infant heart transplant, your mitral valve has started to fail, so replacing it would increase cardiac function. And he won't need another transplant. That is the hope. I gotta ask you again, are you sure that you want to do this? There's a high risk of tearing the ventricle, uh, bleeding, arrhythmias. You're saying he'd need a transplant anyway. I'm saying that he could die. The safest bet is to put Michael on the list for a new heart. No. I understand the risks. We talked about it. We almost lost him, waiting for his last heart. When it was clear he was dying, I asked the nurse if I could hold him. He was so tiny. I spent a whole night looking in his eyes, telling him I loved him. The chance that there will be another donor that matches me, that I'll live long enough for us to find that person, that I'll even get to the top of the list. We like these odds better. OK. Well, if your MRI is good, we'll get started today. That kid should be on the UNOS list. <laughs> oh, boy. Mm. Last chance to turn back. Scissors. Here you go. Well, don't go too deep. Stop being scared. This family is not scared. This boy is not scared. I am not doing this because I want to. I'm doing this because they asked me to and because I can. The arrhythmias are coming closer. If I keep pushing, I'll send him into V-fib. Even cannulating will destroy the heart before I get to the valve. You win. This kid needs a new heart. Let's get out of here. I'm sorry. There was so much scar tissue, I'm afraid I, I, I couldn't get to the valve to repair it. Michael has to go on the transplant list. But now we have to move forward. Michael needs the hope that there is a donor out there somewhere, or he won't survive. Put it right there in front of your tooth and gums. Did you swallow that? Franklin said I had to. I said you don't swallow it. Call me sir. You got a problem? Tough guy. Soon. I do have strong emotions, Danny. They're bottomless. She's perfect. Uh, 10 more seconds. I do this every day. Sun exposure is minimal. But even a little- I can take it. What do you think? Mice? She's an Amazonian queen. A siren. Shit. Should I call your mom? I know we don't have time, but there's a young man in this house that loves her and knows her as no one else does. Me. But it's also true that the world is full of love. And I've known since the first time I saw her that I loved that woman. 
And I am going to be with her. That won't happen. It's not how true love works. Regina! Regina! Andy, get back in- Andy! Please, I'm not a stranger, or a star. I know that you run every day at the exact same time. I- I know that you clench your hands so tight they shake. You want something else, but you've no way to get it. You think that no one really sees you. I see you every day. And I know, more than anything I know, that we're the same. You don't want to mess with the mall cop mauler. You know you have to put a dollar in, right? Oh, forget that. <laughs> Milton, can I talk to you in private? Whatever you would say to me, you can say in front of my new friend, Zane. Okay. Your new friend is a criminal. Shame on you. Shame, I say. <laughs> Nineteen eighty-six. Oh. <laughs> wow, this place is totally rad. I'm like totally wigging out. Here I am. Really? You're me? What's wrong with how I look? You want me to start at the hairless top or the flabby bottom? Hey, you're Zoltan? In, in the flesh. <laughs> Some of us in more flesh than others. I, mean, I built this time machine using spare parts, eighties toys, and hair gel. We had a lot of hair gel in the eighties. <laughs> Not that you need much of that right now. Will you shut my mouth? It's not my fault I can't concentrate sitting next to Tina Gossetti, the most bodacious girl in school. You're a pretty girl, and you're talking to me. Is she a robot? Never mind. It's better if I don't know. Forget it, supersize me. I'm not going. Because. I'm in love with China. What? I'm sorry, but what is there back in 1986 for me? I'm playing video games, having no date to the prom, and ending up a big, bold loner? Temporal generator. Temporal transfer complete. That was gnarly to the max. Welcome to 1986. Here comes Tina Corsetti. Don't worry, I got this. This one's not my cousin. That was one time. Really your girlfriend? Do you want to dance? I don't think I should. I'm here with someone else. Zoltan! What? I can't wait till my time machine's finished. I can travel into the future. I hope they have girl robots, and that they're not picky. Who are you? I'm you, from the future. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding, psych! What did you just do? 
I'm going to have to work all night trying to remember how I built this. I can't go. I don't have a date. <laughs> Is that old lady really your date, Zolturd? As if. I'm here with my cousin. Shalom, Rabbi. Ah, oh, shalom, my... Have you read everything so much that you are now starting to study Gentile texts? <laughs> <laughs> to occasionally peek at the uh, competition. What can I do for you, my boy? Rabbi, we pray and fast on Yom Kippur uh, because we turned our backs on Hashem, the one true God, and worship the golden calf. But it was clear that God had the law. How? Because the word of Hashem, blessed be he, is eternal. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob knew this before Moses. <laughs> I fell, and I too am free from death. 